Hi, fashion enthusiast. Catherine McNeil starts off another video about models I consider to be underrated. She is notorious for opening runway shows for the likes of Givenchy, Alexandra McQueen, Missoni, and Carolina Herrera. I believe you're opening this, yes, for the first time ever. Jean-Paul Gaultier? Yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy because he's been a big supporter for since the beginning, so. In September of 2007, she appeared on the cover of French Vogue, naming her as one of the head girls. She likes doing photo shoots and runways. The editorial's different, I like that, but for the shows you do a lot of running around fittings and the hair and makeup and stuff like that. I, li I like them both. Her first major cover was for B Magazine, who predicted her prominent career. She knows what it takes to be successful. I think just being able to interact with different people from day to day, I think that's important and, you know, to stay calm then because it's quite stressful backstage and, you know, dealing with, you know, all the people. Yeah. Patience. <laughs> yeah, definitely patience. Catherine has been the face of Hugo Boss and Jean-Paul Gaultier and been featured in designer campaigns for Versace, Armani, Prada, and Dior. The next model in this video is Carmen Pedaru. She has a playful personality. Is there anything uh, you could change? What would you change? Hmm. Actually, maybe I would change my feet. They're really nasty. They're blisters and all bruises. <laughs> I think that's model. Model general. <laughs> Although her big breakthrough was in 2008 for the fall shows, where she walked 43 shows for designers like Marc Jacobs, Donna Karen, and Givenchy, she credits Stella McCartney for jump-starting her career. I want to thank Stella McCartney because I started with her. I was doing looks for her and then the show. She replaced a fellow Estonian supermodel as the new face of Michael Kors. I was honored to do with Michael Kors, especially after Carmen Cass, who is an icon and one of my favorite models. She's been on dozens of editorials and covers for Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, W Magazine, and Numero. She is not a feminine girl. It's good to look glamorous sometimes, but not like, like you know, one hour is fine, but not more. I'm more like tomboy, so <laughs> I played soccer, so I was doing sports, so I never had makeup on. So, you know, it, I even couldn't wear heel. Carmen has been on ad campaigns for Gucci, Bell Staff, Jill Stewart, and Derek Lamb. Michelle Alves is another Brazilian bombshell, although she has been on more than 100 covers of major international fashion magazines, she is rather unknown compared to some of her fellow South American counterparts. She was surprised by the complexity of modeling. I thought it would be a kind of silly. I thought, I thought it would be a kind of empty job. And then once you're in it, you see that's more than that. And it's not like, oh, you just do modeling. You just go, people say, I just go there and do some pose and you know, make your lips like big and that's it. You know? and, and it's not only that, you, know? you, you play a lot of your emotions. Michelle has done campaigns for Valentino, Christian Dior, Escada, and Yves Saint Laurent. She does not agree with the stereotypes that models are not smart. People say, oh, models are dumb, but how come you explain a 14, 15, 16 years old girl going around all over the world, taking all kinds of flights, going to countries that you don't understand anything what people say, and you take care about your own money, you see where you're going to put your money, where you're not, choosing which jobs you, should do, jobs you shouldn't do, you know, clothes you're going to wear, how you're going to express yourself to the people, you know, that's very hard, that's not easy, you know, I, I don't think, you know, uh, people I put an image of, of model, that's not nice, they just see you as a pretty face.